Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I've decided to do an astronomy quiz for the Christmas New Year period. I thought it would be a bit of fun. So if you'd like to grab a bit of paper and a pen and follow along, there'll be 15 questions. I've tried to make them interesting and not too difficult and not too easy. But obviously let me know in the comments whether I achieve that or not at the end. And before I get going, I just want to give a quick thank you to my channel members, The Four Grapples and Dan The Man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, it means a lot, and I hope you enjoy this quiz. So let's get going. So first of all, we've got question one, which is, which astronomer famously lost his nose in a duel? Is it A, Tycho Brahe, B, Johannes Kepler, or C, Carl Sagan? I'll give you a few seconds just to think about that. Okay, question two. The object Messier 6 M6 is named after which creature? Is it A, the Crab Nebula, B, Butterfly Cluster, or C, the Eagle Nebula? Question three. Which Mars rover safely touched down on the Red Planet in February 2021? Is it the Curios A. Curiosity rover, B. Perseverance, or C. Opportunity? Question 4. Vesta is the third largest what? Is it A. Comet, B. Asteroid or C. Moon? Question 5. In October 2021, William Shatner, aka Captain Kirk, became the oldest person to travel to space. But how old was he? Was he A. 80 years old, B. 85 years old, or C. 90 years old? Question 6. Which of these isn't a type of telescope eyepiece? A. Orthocentric B. Nagler or C. Plossel Question 7. How many constellations are recognised in modern astronomy? Is it A. 12 B, 88, or C, 104? Question 8. The name Laika belongs to what? A, an asteroid, B, a space probe, C, a space dog. Question 9. What is a scientific term used to describe twinkling stars? Is it A. Parallax, B. Shimmer, or C. Scintillation? Question 10. In what year was the famous Halley's Comet last seen in our skies? Was it A, 1986, B, 1992, or C, 1996? Question 11. What is the visible part of the sun called? Is it A, the lithosphere, B, the photosphere, or C, the atmosphere? Question 12. Which is the only planet in the solar system to spin on its side? Is it A. Uranus, B. Neptune, or C. Mercury? Question 13. The Sun was first proposed to be at the centre of the solar system by which astronomer? Was it A. Johannes Kepler, B. Copernicus 
or C, Galileo. Question 14. After the moon and my neighbour's security lights, what is the brightest object in the sky? So what is the second brightest object in the sky that we can see at night? Is it A, the star Sirius, B, the star Betelgeuse, or C, the planet Venus? And the final question, 15. Who invented the telescope? Was it A, Hans Lippershey, B, Galileo, or C, Isaac Newton? So here's the answers. So question one is, which astronomer famously lost his nose in a duel? And the answer is A, Tycho Brahe. He was a Danish astronomer who lost his nose in a fight over maths with a fellow student at the age of 20 and he had to spend most of his life wearing a brass prosthetic nose. But I don't think he was buried with it. I think I read that. So he was parted at death uh, from his nose, <laughs> his artificial nose. So very interesting character. So the answer to question two, the object Messier 6, M6, is named after which creature? And the answer is B, the butterfly cluster. And the butterfly cluster is an open cluster of stars in the constellation Scorpius. Answer to question three, which Mars rover safely touched down on the red planet in February 2021? And the answer is B, Perseverance. So Perseverance's main job is to seek ancient signs of life and also along for the ride was Ingenuity which was the first helicopter to fly on a different planet. So that's also flying on the planet as we speak. So very interesting stuff going on on Mars at the moment. Question four. Vesta is the third largest what? And the answer is asteroid. Vesta is actually the brightest asteroid we can see from Earth and it's sometimes visible with a naked eye. So I think um, the only asteroid that's larger is Ceres which is arguably a dwarf planet. So the answer to question 5, William Shatner became the oldest person to travel to space at what age? And he was actually 90 years old so C is correct, 90. He flew aboard Jeff Bezos's Shepard rocket, the Blue Horizon project, and uh, that happened quite recently. Uh, I think it was like October or something. Yeah. Um, answer to question six: Which of these isn't a type of telescope eyepiece? And the one that isn't is a orthocentric. And what I did there is I mixed two different types of eyepiece together so I kind of spliced orthoscopic with monocentric together to make orthocentric but there isn't actually an orthocentric eyepiece. The other two, Nagler, named after Al Nagler which is the well-known 82 degree uh, apparent field of view eyepiece and Plossel is a very common eyepiece that some, sometimes is included with some of the better beginner telescopes but it's kind of the step up from what a lot of people get included with cheap or affordable telescope packages. So answer to question seven, how many constellations are recognized in modern astronomy? And the answer is B, 88. And that was decided upon by the International Astronomical Union in 1922 and they settled on 88 as the figure. Okay, so the answer to number eight, the name Laika belongs to what? And the answer is a space dog. So the Russians sent up uh, Laika, which was a mongrel dog found on the streets of Moscow, I think it was. And they sent it up in Sputnik 2. Very scary for it, obviously, but it's the first animal that ever orbited the Earth. So Laika is quite a famous space dog. Answer to nine. What is the scientific term used to describe twinkling stars? And the answer is scintillation. And that's caused by the atmosphere turbulence, sort of changing the refractive index of the atmosphere and causing the stars to twinkle. And that's called scintillation. So C is the correct answer for that one. 
And the answer to question 10, in what year was the famous Halley's Comet last seen in our skies? And the answer is A, 1986. So Halley's Comet is the only naked eye comet that you have a chance of seeing twice in a lifetime because it approaches Earth every sort of 75, 76 years. Um, I think I was probably uh, about 10, so you know, I'll be lucky <laughs> if I get to see it again. You never know. Um, answer to question 11. What is the visible part of the sun called? And the answer is B, the photosphere. And that me basically means sphere of light. And it's a thin layer. It's a thin layer about 250 miles deep. So relatively thin layer um, in the sun. So the answer to question 12 is which of the planets in the solar system is the only one to spin on its side? And the answer is A, Uranus. So Uranus, um, it spins on its side. It's kind of like rolling round the plane of the solar system like a ball and its axis is kind of pointing towards the sun. So very different to the other planets. Uh, the answer to question 13 the sun was first proposed to be at the centre of the solar system by which astronomer? And the answer is B. Copernicus. So Copernicus was a Polish astronomer and he first proposed that the planets orbit the sun in the 1500s when most people believed that the earth was at the centre of the, of the universe basically. So it was quite a controversial proposition at the time for him to come out and say that. Okay, so the answer to 14. After the moon, what is the brightest object in the night sky? And the answer is C, Venus. And the other two were Sirius and Betelgeuse. And you can look at this on the magnitude scale, the lower number being brighter, higher number being dimmer. And Venus is minus 4.8, so very bright indeed. And Betelgeuse is 0.58 and Sirius is minus 1.46. So Sirius is quite a lot brighter than Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse. So answer to question 15, the final question. Who invented the telescope? Now this is interesting. I think a lot of people think it's Galileo, but he was actually the first person to use a telescope for astronomy. But Hans Lippershey in 18, 1608 was the first guy who tried to get the patent for the telescope, so is, is more recognised for the invention of the telescope itself. But Galileo used it for astronomy. Okay, that's it. So if you tally up your answers, you can let me know what you scored in the comments below. It'd be interesting to see how people did. Obviously, let me know if it was too easy or too difficult for future reference if I do a different quiz. Also, let me know if you want me to do any more quizzes in future. I just thought this would be something a bit different and fun for the, sort of the holiday Christmas New Year period. Um, quizzes uh, are quite a big thing in Britain. I don't, I don't know about other countries, but we, we do like a good old quiz in the UK. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for everyone who watch and, watches and supports the channel and especially big thank you to my channel members for going that extra mile and actually supporting the channel to help me make content. Until next time, clear skies eventually and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.